Good morning. The lift should be getting delivered any minute now. So we have been working on siding our off-grid house that we've been building here. We got the front sided, the other side sided, and I got the back as far up as I could go without the lift. The lift that I had originally rented, I thought I could get on the back side up high and reach over, but I couldn't, and I couldn't get between the building and the bank. So this is going to be like my $2,500 mistake. I have to rent a different lift so I can get back there. If I would have built the house out a little bit more, I wouldn't have had to do this. Or if I would have rented this lift in the first place, I wouldn't have had to rent it two lifts. So lesson learned. And for our workshop, we made it so you can get around the back a lot easier. This lift, when it shows up for main equipment rentals, I'll show you. Supposed to be nice and narrow, so we should be able to get behind the house and work. The biggest reason, I didn't want to get this one from the beginning, is it's got a smaller basket. But I should have done it. And now it's going to cost me. We ended up renting this nifty lift for main equipment rentals. We go in with this one because it's narrow enough to get through a four foot wide gate. So this should be able to get out behind the house. So we're gonna get this one over there. I'm kind of curious to see how it goes. All right, I got it behind the house and now the rain is coming down hard. So that's as far as we're gonna be able to go right now. Hopefully this rain lets off and we can start working. It is raining and coming down hard. So I figured this is the perfect time to come out and check in and see how the concrete slab is doing. We got all of our relief cuts in it. So if it's gonna crack, it's gonna crack, but we have it cut. But it is looking good. All of the water is flowing out. I'm not seeing any puddles. My cuts are a little wonky, but I was trying to cut in the dust and the dust was covering up my lines. That's my excuse anyways. So I can live with how the cuts look. I am just loving how the slab came out. Ken's guys did a great job. We did a good job getting it ready and I'm excited. Not for the rain. But for how good this slab looks. <laughs> Actually, the rain is good for the slab. It'll help cool it down and keep everything hardening off. That rain is coming down hard. I'm just trying out and about checking and seeing how everything is flowing. And look at that, the rain, holy moly. The amount of rain we've been getting lately is crazy. I'm just kind of watching how all the rain is flowing on the road how it's going in the ditch, how we need to ditch everything better. We have a lot that comes out of our driveway and then comes down the road. We are capturing a lot of it in this ditch right here. And I wanna see how we can capture it better because there is a lot of rain lately. And if we can just kinda control it, the flow, it's better for the homestead.
Good morning. The rain has finally stopped. It was coming down hard yesterday. We got washed out from pretty much doing anything. We got the lift set up and then it started downpouring again. I had to check the official rain gauge, but my farmer's rain gauge, we can check that one this morning. I'm curious to see how much rain we got. It's been a lot. Two and a quarter inches. That is just from yesterday. There's been a lot of areas that have been getting a lot more rain than us and getting a lot worse flooding. So as much as we've had enough of the rain, I am thankful that we are high and dry and not flooding out. That's for sure. If you guys are getting a lot of rain and you're getting flooded out and washed out, I feel you. It's not been a fun summer. It's been pretty soggy and wet, but I am looking forward today to getting on that lift and starting to get some siding done. It's about time for that. Now, I'm gonna feed these animals, make sure they're not too soggy, and then we can get working. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning, Hope. Good morning, Hope. So we're gonna check the official rain gauge. Get this one sent to us, thank you. So you fill up the center and that is an inch. And then you take the overflow That is another inch. You should have a little pouring spout. So, 0.15, so 2.15 inches in the last 24 hours. Minus the screws. Minus the screws. How much did you say? 2.15 inches. That is enough rain. And we still have more in the forecast, hopefully not today, but later this week. We had it really good down and pat with getting the siding done, but it's been over a month since we've tackled this project, so it's gonna take a little bit to get back in the swing of it. All right, let me See if this is a good place to position it or not. Oh, Arlo did not like that. <laughs> Come on. Scared him. <laughs> I was gonna say he needs to watch out and then. <laughs> well, it didn't like that. Well, it's not a good start to the day so far. No. It worked yesterday. Worked yesterday, it worked today. Then I hit one button and it stalled it out and now it won't do anything. Let me see if I can get it running from below. This has two different ways to do it. Well, while Al is trying to figure out the lift, I thought I'd just walk over here and show you the garden. I am pretty happy with what everything is looking like. It is actually looking, I feel like it's really pretty. So I'm excited. I'm excited to, I'm already thinking about next year and all the different herbs and stuff I want to plant. So that's exciting too. So I'll show you my herbs. And I didn't plant a lot because they usually spread, but let me show you. So this is oregano and that's doing good. I started that inside. This stuff was all stuff I had started in mason jars inside the house. My basil is doing really good. My parsley is doing good. I didn't put anything right here, um, but my dill, well, didn't make it. I didn't know when it fell over if maybe it would plant some more, but so far not so good. 
So I'm happy with what that's looking like. I have another pot over by the house. I did lemon balm and mint, and that is doing so good. And my zucchinis, I got some zucchinis growing. I'm not sure what's going on with the summer squash. Um, I have nice leaves. Maybe stuff is starting to, I don't really have any flowers, nothing, so I don't know. It looks like something's starting right there. Usually the summer squash and the zucchini, they usually do everything at the same time, and then you have a whole bunch at once, but I don't know. Maybe I'll get something a little later. Maybe I won't get anything at all. And my favorite is buttercup squash, and I have some there. This is doing good. Some flowers. And my string beans. Now this part right here is my favorite right now. I had gotten some bamboo steaks and I have, these are my cucumbers. I did it on the next one. I started to set up some steaks for my tomatoes and then we went on to something else. So that's kind of in the works. And let me just show you my other stuff. So these are my purple cabbage, I, my broccoli and some more. I have a green, two green cabbages. My thyme. I don't really want to say anything because to be honest with you, I've never had cabbages ever get so it looks this good this far. So um, I have seen a couple little cabbage worms here and there and I try to get them. I don't know if it's having the time in the bed with the stuff, if that's keeping the bugs kind of at bay, but so far, I mean, ugh, I don't really want to say anything. Well, this was doing good. The rain has really not done it good. These ones are still standing. I need to pull my spinach out. The chickens will love that. The lettuce has been good. I planted some new ones here. This is what I started. So I want to do like little teepees here and then put a line across and then string them because I think that will work good. It's a little bit hard for me to reach up there. So I try to keep them at my height because if I go any further, it's not going to happen. Um, and I did see, I have a couple little tomatoes started. They are super thick, super healthy looking. I'm really, really happy, especially having raised beds with all this rain because it's not good to have everything too wet. And it's got some, we put some wood and stuff at the bottom before the compost. So, so far it's showing that it has really good drainage, which I'm really, really happy about. So yeah, get all my little cucumbers soon, soon, soon. All right, so I just got off the phone with the guys from Maine Equipment. We're gonna try a couple of things and see what the issue is. So I'm gonna turn this key on. It's gonna make a high, loud, high-pitched noise. Now I'm gonna go down below and there's a way to start it right on the motor. All right, let's get the downriggers out and get this thing leveled off. We are nice and level. I have bubble gauges right here, which is really nice so I can see if we're level this way, and then if we're level this way, which we are. So now we need to get the basket up and see if this will all work so we can side.
I didn't dare shut it off while I was up there and talk because we're having a switch issue. And until I know it's resolved, I, I really don't feel like shutting it off when I'm up in the air. <laughs> because if I can't restart it, I'm up there. But I am happy with how we positioned it. We have just inches to clear and to spin. We're maybe six inches short that way for me to, to reach the very edge. But I'm not going to worry about positioning it further that way because we can reach this edge and that edge once we start going up higher with the taper we're going to be perfect so the first couple of rows if i have to get the ladder over there and get the last couple of pieces that'll be perfect but i am glad that we were able to get back here we couldn't get the other lift back here and up where gina's standing it was too far away so this fits everything is working good I shouldn't have to move it. I should be good to do everything from right where we are. And I think I will fill in the nail holes with our liquid zip flashing because if I do it as I go, I end up touching it and I get liquid zip all over me. So we'll take care of that first and then we'll continue on. I will admit, I am not a big fan of lifts. They kind of make me think of carnival rides, they're fun. But if they break, that's not any fun. So it's always in the back of my mind. And then with a the switch malfunctioning, it's in the back of my mind even more. So I don't know. I love them because they work great, but I'm always a little sketched out when you use them. Cause it's like, man, if I get stuck up there, how am I gonna get down? Well, I'm gonna have to go switch out this sweatshirt because I am sweating. I don't know if it's cause it's getting hot out here. Cause Al's up there because he just said what he said. Cause I was getting <laughs> hot before that. Now I'm even hotter. So I'm gonna go get something else on because I'm sweating. All right, let's get up there and get some holes filled in. You wanna go for a ride? No. No? Oh, we do have these windows taped off. So I don't need the tape. I'll keep it right here though. Um, right. Can I give you a rag to wash the window? When I get up there, we'll, we'll wash them. Okay. Oh, I'll lift you up there and you can wash them? No. The first window right here is a spot inside that Figaro likes to hang out. And I always want to send, like, take a picture or a video, but there's such this must be uh, bird poop or yeah. something on it. And, and just on that one window. Just that one window that he lays in. So I never want to, like, do anything right there. So we'll give Al a rag and some spray at some point and clean it off. So you can see his little perch that he has. He loves that window for sure. I need to finish installing our plumbing vent. It's going to get up above the roof. We have it stubbed out past the roof overhang is just going to go up now and I wasn't doing that without the lift. Everything else I was able to do from the inside and the last piece we'll just have to do up and out. I thought you were going to make me throw it. I'm not a very good throw. No, that's why I came down. Huh? That's why I came down. Yeah. I am feeling a through sprinkle of rain. Hopefully it's just nothing and we don't get a whole bunch right now. Just starting to get back on this project. So I'm thinking we can set you up on cut duty and I can have you cut like 40 pieces at 11 inches okay. for a soffit material. And then I'll stay back here, start getting everything else prepped. And then when I need those, they'll be ready.
So what I like to do when I cut these is try to find a space where they keep ending so I don't have to keep measuring because I feel like I just want to keep measuring and cutting, but you can't do that because of saw blade and all that, and then you'll end up with a smaller piece than you need. So I realized I just did my two cuts and it ends right here. So I'm going to use that as my measurement. Hopefully these will all be good and fit for Al. We have a little bit of wiggle room, so that's good because it needs to fit in that channel. Well, I lost count. This last one, I believe, had 13. So if I have 13 times three, so that should be 39. So I should have almost 40. Then I have a couple scraps over there that they should be able to uh, make work or I'll cut um, one down. So I'm just gonna count these, make them in piles of 10 for Al, and then get what I need left over. Good thing I counted because I still needed five more. So I don't know if the first piece that I had that I was cutting wasn't a full sheet. That's probably what happened because I feel like I got 12 or 13 out of my last one I counted. When I start going, I think I'm like, okay, I'm gonna remember what number I'm on. And then I don't. Every single time I forget. And sometimes when I do baking that happens and that's not good. All right, we got all of the J channel done. I got my stink pipe in there temporarily. So while I'm working around it, I don't have to smell it. I don't want to glue it on until we have all the siding in and then I can glue it on for its final resting home. But at least now it'll keep the stink going up and out and out of our face. So that is a bonus. So I'm thinking I'll clean those windows before I forget. And then we can start getting some softened material up there and getting all that closed in. It's looking good. I'm excited to see it all sighted. Now that we have the windows all cleaned, let's get the soffit material up and see how that looks. I always like when the soffit material goes up, it just kind of, I don't know, it just gives it a nice shadow effect. It looks so different. We got one side of the soffit all done.
All right, it feels good to have that done. I'm kind of wondering if the switch in here for starting it got a little soggy last night with all that rain we got last night and yesterday, because right now I am not having an issue with it. So I'm thinking it might have gotten a little wet, which I kind of think it's a little bit of a design flaw on Nifty Lift because there's no cover for this. This just sits out in the rain. The only thing that has a cover is the key. You take the key out and you can flop it over, which I did. That was closed overnight, but let's see. So I'm thinking that the switch got damp with all the rain, but I think that's, like I said, just a design flaw because there's no way to cover it. So I am going to cover this up with a bag or something to keep any rain off of that because I've been leaving the machine running because I don't want to not be able to start it when I'm way up in the air and not be able to get down. So yeah, now that it is working good, I'm going to cover that up for the night and hopefully tomorrow when we come back out here to start doing the side. I'm hoping we don't have any issues with the switch. We'll be the first to find out, but so far it's working. <laughs> 